New here at 4 o'clock, a popular food market will reopen this summer after suddenly closing and filing for bankruptcy. Foxtrot announced today the plan is to reopen several locations, including right here in Chicago. NBC5's V. Wynn has more on what she's learning about that reopening and what this could mean for employees who were laid off. More than a month after shuttering 33 of its locations nationwide from Chicago to Dallas, Foxtrot is looking to make a comeback, announcing it's reopening this summer. Two of those locations confirmed in the Gold Coast and Old Town. I'm very excited. This, this is a better uh, use of this space in this neighborhood. I'm glad that it's open. It's real convenient for me. I've worked right next door. Been shopping here for the last three years. Some people who live and work in the neighborhood welcome the reopening and say they're hoping to see familiar faces back in the stores. The staff here was good as well. They were friendly and I, I don't know if the same people will come back, but I think it's important. The company merged with Dom's Kitchen and Market at the end of last year, but back in April, customers and employees say they were left in the dark, arriving to stores to find signs like this one. The company at the time saying it found no viable options to continue the business. It ended up filing for bankruptcy, then selling its assets in May. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, it, it seems like the, the plans to reopen are being rolled out about as quick as the, <laughs> at least uh, from our perception, about as quick as they decided to close. Jose Uribe is with Arise Chicago. The workers' rights organization held a protest then, trying to help at least 50 laid off employees. Well, I think the biggest question I have is what that means for the workers that lost their jobs, right? Is the company going to be recalling them? NBC5 asked. A spokesperson for Foxtrot told us over the phone he didn't have any information on the hiring process just yet and didn't respond when asked what prompted the reopening. Since then, a lawsuit has been filed against the company, alleging it violated the state's WARN Act. They effectively fired everyone without cause. So since this is not due to any kind of performance concerns or issues as far as personnel fulfilling their duties, yes, that they should have recall rights. They should be the first to get contacted. The chairman of Foxtrot was not available for an on-camera interview today. As for the reopening this summer, a spokesperson telling me a date hasn't been set. Reporting in the Gold Coast, V1 NBC5 News. Thanks to V, that's a big development.